everyone, it is Diane here from Deco Easy. Jen and I are super happy that you came over to watch another home decor video. Let's start crafting and see what we're going to make today. Hey everyone, it's Diane here. Are you ready for a new daily DIY? Today we're going to create something for the Easter season or spring. You can make it how you want it. And therefore, we are going to use these painter sticks. Um, I tried to remove stickers that are on the back side of those sticks. Well, for most, I succeeded, but not for this one. So, yeah. Actually, as you can see, they're really hard to remove. I need to use my nail and then they come off. Very difficult, but I'll manage to do it because I don't want to have stickers still on the back of these wooden sticks. But my experience with these things is that not everything comes off clearly. So that will keep me busy for a while. Maybe a sanding paper will help. I'm going to try that. Hopefully it works better than using my nail. Okay, that helped quite a lot. Uh, nearly everything came off. This is the back side, by the way, of those paint stir sticks. And, well, they're not completely straight. This one here goes to that side. Hopefully that will work better. I also have smaller paint stir sticks. These are straight ones. This one here have a grip, um, but this will be used at the back side to create more strength for this DIY. And I see that not all of those stir sticks have the same length. Some are a little bit longer than others. So yeah, we have one top section and one bottom section. What I'm going to do, I have three of these and luckily they have exactly the same length as all the larger sticks together. So I'm going to glue these using this glue here and a brush. I'm going to glue these upon the paint stir sticks that are larger. So I line everything. I'm using these large paint stir sticks with the grip just by doing this so I can press them all together very easily without ruining the whole thing. Okay, this it will be. Carefully put them like this. Now I can start gluing. I wanted to make three layers like this, but then I thought maybe this is a better idea of gluing everything together. Now I'm going to let it dry and place a heavy object upon it so everything will be pressed together and I think it will be um, yeah, drying for an hour or something. The frame is dry, time to turn it over. And I think this will be the top section and this is the bottom section because this one is straight and this one is completely straight because this one here and this one here are a little bit larger. Okay, time to paint the whole thing. I'm using this paint from Hornbach. Okay, this thing is dry. Now I'm going to make another thing with this sheer pink paint. I hope you can see the difference. This is chalk paint and I have a clean brush and also a paint stir stick. What I want to do, the idea is that I'm painting this one pink and putting it down like, well, let's say here or something with glue. And then I'm going to paint this part pink as well because this is going to be some sort of hat idea.
This board is almost dry, so I'm putting this one away. And now I want to make something really cute. I want to make a rabbit out of the planks. Um, I printed out a free silhouette template for ears. So first I'm going to cut it smaller because then it's easier to put it upon cardboard because the paper isn't strong enough and the cardboard I have at home is still for free. But let's say this is okay for now. Then I'm have here a part of cardboard that I want to use. This is an old little carton and I'm just going to put them up like this. I think just like so. And therefore I have the glue here. So I just pour this area with a lot of glue. This part is dry. It is really important before you start cutting out the ears that you let it dry very well. Uh, I'm not going to color this in or paint this right now because it was just as a mold, as a silhouette, so I know how to cut. Because if I'm going to draw this by hand, well, I tried it on this side here, then you get really bad ears for the rabbit. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to cut it out. I have two ears, but actually I thought turning them over would be a good idea, but now you can see the complete cardboard look. So I'm going to leave them this way, and I'm going to use the pink paint here to color in these parts. Um, yeah, that's it basically. And then we only have to give the pinkster stick part a face. And then we have a really cute bunny with a hat on. So time to start coloring this. I'm using this pencil here with a sharp tip so I can get here in the corners pretty good. The ears are drying, I didn't attach them yet. But it's just for the perspective because I have to draw myself a face. Uh, and therefore I just use a pencil. And is this the pencil by the way? I really don't know what the name is. I always call it pencil. And if it's going wrong, I can just erase it. Um, but I need a perspective, so I'm going to use the ears and I'm going to draw. And after I draw and I'm happy with the result, I'm using a black marker to finish the whole thing off. Okay, I draw myself a face. And I'm going to remove the ears now. It isn't completely perfect. I'm really aware of that. And I think I also have to, I hope you can see it, repaint some parts after I'm done, after I'm done um, using the pencil. But we're going to see how it turns out. So I'm going to start at the top section.
what do you think? <laughs> it was really scary to do so. Um, but I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. Only thing that I need to do now is applying the ears to the hat. Uh, but I think I'm going to overdo this black line here with the marker so it has the exact same look as the bunny itself. The last step is applying the ears. I just warmed up the glue gun and yeah, we're going to locate where I want to have the ears. Exactly. This is a good idea to line it up with the top section here of the DIY board. Yeah, I think this will be it. Wipe off the first bit of glue that is coming out. Now I'm just going to apply some glue here. And put it in here. And then I'm going to pull it up. And hold it for a few seconds. And then I'm repeating the same step with the other ear. couldn't let it and I just painted the heart shaped nose pink and this is how the DIY turned out super easy to make super simple to make and you can give it totally your touch you can decorate it the way you want it so let us know in the comment section what you think of this DIY that was it for today everyone thank you so much for watching Jenny and I hope that you had fun watching and we hope to see you next time bye everyone